guys, and welcome to another episode of Man Du Man Da. And today we are going to talk about some of the differences I've noticed since coming and visiting Canada. Let's go. Number one, t-shirts and city names. So before we came here, we had to stop by a couple cities and we went to San Francisco and Boston. And this is a thing that I completely forgot about is that people like to wear t-shirts that says the name of their city or the name of their country. And they're really proud to wear that. Whereas in Korea, I don't see that at all. If I do see something that says Seoul or anything like that, it's usually for foreigners or travelers to buy it. I'll never see a Korean wear something like that unless it's for a sports team. And when I do see it in Korea, it's not in Hangul. What I do see Koreans wear, they like to wear shirts that say other people's countries on it. So I'll see people wearing something that says New York or Harvard or Detroit, and they've never been to these places. And I never realized, but it's, it's a big difference. Number two. While I have been in Korea, something major has happened and that's the legalization of weed. Since being in Canada, I smell it all the time. Even right now, I'm smelling it. <laughs> Before, I did smell it, but not as frequently as I do right now. I've actually smelt it a couple of times in Korea. But the thing is, is that a lot of Koreans don't know what the smell of weed smells like, so nobody knows that they're smelling weed. They just think it's a funny smell. But as you guys know, in Korea, it's highly illegal, and you could be sentenced right to jail. So if you're Korean, you can't do it. Unless you become Canadian. <sighs> Bottled water brings me to number three. Canada has the most lakes and clear water than anywhere else in the world combined. Yet its bottled water is more expensive than in Korea. Why? I don't know. But not only is its base price more expensive than in Korea, you also have to add tax. And then there's also a bottle tax. So what that means is you have to pay a little bit extra for your water and when you finish drinking it, you bring it back to one of these uh, recycling services, you give them your bottle and then they'll give you that money back. It's called a bottle deposit. Some people actually go around and they collect bottles and that's how they make money. Similar to in Korea when you see some people collecting cardboard boxes, it's the same kind of deal for water bottles. Also, what's really funny and I totally forgot about is that bottled water is actually more expensive than a soft drink like cola or Sprite or anything like that. So you can actually drink on something unhealthy for cheaper than something healthy like water. Bichasso. <laughs> Number four, trash cans and public washrooms. Now something I didn't realize, but Den had to point out to me, is that there's actually less public washrooms here. If you want to use the bathroom, you probably have to go into a Starbucks or even a McDonald's. The other thing is trash cans. And I've probably mentioned this before, but in Korea, one of my biggest pet peeves is that there's not enough public trash cans. So if you have trash, you have two choices. You can litter, which is always a bad thing to do. Don't do that. Or you can put it in your pocket and save it for later. But in Canada, it's wonderful. Even when we were in Boston, there were public trash cans everywhere. When I mean everywhere, I mean everywhere. Like you would walk about, what do I say, 50 steps and there'd be another public trash can. Let me tell you, it works. It's beautiful here. There's hardly any trash on the floor. Now, not all places are like this, but in the highly touristy areas, absolutely, there's trash cans everywhere. Number five, smiling and saying sorry. In Canada, people are pretty nice. They like to smile at you, even if you're strangers, and they say sorry a lot. We say sorry more than we say A. A? But one thing that you need to know, especially if you come to Halifax, is that people are really nice here, except they don't like when you make really small mistakes. So for example, if you go into a building and there's a specific entrance and a specific exit, if you enter through the exit, they look at you like, what did you just do? My life is ruined. Idiot! Go through the other door. It says entrance. Go through that door. You don't know. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for joining us on the Sandu Sandam. I really hope you enjoyed it and you enjoyed the wonderful scenery of the Halifax waterfront. Please check out our other videos and we'll see you next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. Onanan, pyong!